Hi everyone, uh, my name is Alex. Today we're going to be going through an upper body focused flow. So working our shoulders, opening our hearts. We're of course gonna get into some core as well. Well, we're gonna start in our child's pose. So bring your knees out just as wide as you like on your mat. So maybe today that means your knees are together, that's okay as well. You're here to honor your body in your space. Now those arms can come nice and long on the mat, or if you'd like to start by resting those shoulders, bring those arms down by your side. Forehead is on the mat. Or maybe you rock those hips side to side for a moment. Maybe you rock your head side to side. Once you found your space, try to find stillness for a few breaths. Closing the eyes, take a deep breath in. Let it go. Very nice. Now taking this time to really ground down into your mat. Noticing all the area beneath you that is supporting and holding you. Noticing maybe the clothes touching your skin. What is the texture like? The temperature of the air. How does that feel today? Bring our awareness over to our breath. Starting to create a little more length here. Deep inhales and exhales through our nose. Filling the body, filling the lungs. Let's take one more deep breath right here. Very nice. So if you brought your arms down by your sides, bring them back up long like a traditional child's pose. We're gonna walk those hands over to the right side of the mat. All those hands can stay side by side or you can stack one on top of the other. Or maybe you bring that right arm down by your side, but really stretching that left side body here. Pressing that shoulder down, take two more breaths. Very nice. Walking those hands back through center, we'll bring them over to the left side of the mat. The same options you can stack your hands here or bring the left arm down by your side really lengthening that right side body find your stretch here pressing that right shoulder down take two more breaths very nice Walk those hands back to center. We're gonna lift our hips coming into a gentle puppy pose to start. So keeping those arms nice and straight, bring the forehead to the mat. We wanna lift those hips up, kind of stack them over our knees here. Melting your chest down, find our breath. We have three here. One more breath. Slowly lowering those hips back to our heels, finding our child's pose. And then we're gonna lift up and come into our tabletop pose. So spreading those fingertips nice and wide. And we'll drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. Drop the belly, shine your heart. Exhale, navel the spine, curve of the head goes down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale down. Very nice. Come into a nice neutral spine. We're going to take a breath. Bring that right foot back. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that foot forward in between the hands. We'll lift those arms. Press the hips forward. And bend your elbows. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Opening your heart here, making goal post arms. Maybe find a back bend if that feels good for your practice today. Really pressing that right foot down to the earth. Find your grounding. Let's take two more breaths. 
Last one. Very nice. Lower those hands back from the front foot. Bring that right leg up and back to straighten. Very nice. We're going to pivot that left heel. Keep our left hand planted. Open our chest. Open those hips. I'll start to circle that arm. Taking nice deep rotations forward. And then switching directions. Nice and exaggerated. Take one more. Meeting with that arm nice and high. And exhale, lower the right hand down. Drop that right knee and let's switch sides. Inhale, left foot comes back. And exhale, bring that foot forward in between the hands. Lift those arms. Front knee is stacked over that ankle, making sure you're not pressing over. Sink those hips down, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. Option to take that back bend here. Engage those glutes and press that left foot down. It will help with your balance here, yogis. Take two more breaths. Last one. Very nice. Lower those hands back to bring that front foot. Plant those hands. Left foot comes up and back. Straighten that leg. We're going to pivot that right heel to the right. Right hand stays planted. Left arm lifts, open those hips, so we're flexing that back foot back, and start to swim that left arm forward, take nice deep rotations. Very nice, and switching directions. Nice, exaggerated, open your heart. Meeting with that arm nice and high, inhale. Exhale, drop that left hand, drop the knee. Let's take one more cat cow, drop the belly, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Coming through neutral tabletop, we'll tuck those toes. Come into a downward facing dog. Paddling those feet here. Getting deeper into one hamstring. Lengthening the back of your legs. Take one more breath. Very nice. Now, we are going to keep those hands planted, rock forward. Shoulders stack over the wrists, bend those knees to a hover over the mat. So we're squeezing those thighs, pressing those palms down, feeling some fire start to build within those arms. Core is engaged, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips down, dog. Deep breath, let go. Right back at it, rock forward, hover tabletop. Knees are bent, palms are pressed down, shoulder blades are into our back and our core is engaged. Keep that breath going here for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips down, dog. Deep breath. Let it go. One more time, rock back forward, shoulders over wrists, knees drop to a hover. Press those shoulder blades into your back. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips down, dog. Deep breath, let it go. One more deep breath, let it go. We'll look to the top of the mat. Step hop or float into a half lift. Hands on shins or mat. Deep breath, lengthen the spine. And fold. Let's walk those feet as wide as our mat here for a moment to rest those arms down. You can, can grab your elbows here if you'd like. Or to open up your chest, you can interlace those hands behind the back, letting the arms fall heavy. Or maybe you start to sway side to side or bend one knee and then the other. Let your head hang heavy. No tension on your neck here. Let's take three more breaths. One more. Very nice. Bring those arms back down by the sides. Press up, half lift. 
and fold. Reverse swan dive up, keep those feet where they are. Optional back bend, engage those glutes to protect your lower back. And exhale, bring hands to heart center. Very nice. We're going to lift those arms. Drop that right arm down by your side and reach that left arm over towards the right side of the room here for you. Keeping that left shoulder pulled back. Breathe here. One more full breath. Very nice. Come back to neutral, reach that right arm high. Exhale, drop the left arm down, reach that right arm to the left side of the room. Keep your shoulder pulled back, keep that breath going here. One more. Reach back to neutral, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Place the hands on the mat, step back to plank or drop the knees for your modified plank here. So you're still pressing those palms down. Glutes are engaged, core is engaged, and we're gonna slowly lower here. Let's start with three. So for three, two, one. Press up cobra or upward facing dog, shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Look to the top of the mat. Step hop or float. Half lift, inhale. And fold. Reverse swan dive up. Optional back bend. Exhale, fold two more times. Half lift. Place the hands on the mat. Step back to plank or modified plank. This time we're going to lower for four. Starting now for four. Three. Two. One, inhale, shine your heart. Exhale, lift your hips. A deep breath. Let go. Look to the top of the mat. Step up or float, half lift. And fold. Reverse, one dive up, optional back bend. One more time, forward fold. Half lift. Place the hands on the mat, step back to your variation of plank pose. This time we're going to lower for five, four, three, two, one. Try your heart. Lift your hips. Deep breath. Let it go. Lifting that right leg high so when he points down, keep those hips square to the earth. We're going to inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the forehead and hold. Keep your hips lifted, knee is tucked in, palms pressed down. Inhale out. Exhale, knee to right elbow and hold. Keep pressing down, hips are lifted. Inhale out. One more side, knee to left elbow and hold. Core is engaged, press down. Inhale out. Exhale, bring that foot forward in between the hands. Rise, crescent lunge. Very nice, really starting to feel some burn within our shoulders here. Finding some strength for all those chaturanga arms and our arm balances we're gonna be playing with in our future, right? Sink into those hips, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. Option to find that back bend here, lifting your heart. Engage those glutes, pulling everything into your center here. Take one more full breath. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, open wide to your warrior two. We won't be here for too terribly long. Let's pulse those hands. Pressing down. Very nice. Still tugging that tailbone. And here for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Flip the front hand, reverse for your right arm, lifts the sky. Lengthening that side body, take one more breath. And exhale to windmill those hands down. Come on to the ball of your left foot. Left hand plants, right arm lifts for a wall side angle. So we're pressing that left hand down, notice the pattern here. Reaching that right arm high. Spark those fingers here, take one more full breath in. 
and exhale to lower the right hand. Right foot comes to the back of the mat and lower chaturanga. Shine your heart. Lift your hips. A deep breath. Let it go. Other side, left leg lifts. To a knee points down, press that right heel to the earth and we'll take a breath. Exhale, knee to forehead and hold. Press those palms down. Hips stay lifted. Inhale out. Two more, knee to left elbow and hold. Very nice. Inhale out. Last time, knee to right elbow and hold. Keep that core engaged. Hips stay lifted. Inhale out. Exhale, bring right foot forward in between the hands. Rise, crescent lunge. Hips are sinking down. Arms are high. Take a breath. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades. Option to find that back bend here. Lifting your heart. Take one more full breath. Very nice. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open wide to your warrior two. Very nice. So this time we're going to flip those palms and pulse up. Still tugging that tailbone. Very nice. Nice little pulses here. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm lifts to the sky. Lengthen that side body. Find your breath. One more inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down. Come onto the ball of your right foot. Right hand plants. Left arm lifts to the sky. Press that right hand down. Core is engaged. Glutes are engaged. Left fingertips are reaching high. Take one more breath. Exhale, lower the left hand. Left foot comes to the back of the mat. Lower chaturanga. Shine your heart. Lift your hips. Deep breath. Let it go. One more deep breath. Let it go. Very nice. Now let's walk our hands back towards our feet at the back of the mat. So I'm going to turn to face you here. Walk those feet a little wider, sitting up for our Malasana Yogi Squat. When you are ready, drop those hips down between your heels. Very nice. Or you can place a block or any item you're using as a block or a pillow underneath your hips. Help this make help make this a little more restorative. Maybe help you find your balance a little bit here. You're not feeling it today. The elbows are between those knees, hands to our heart. Use those hands to really press and activate this. You're pressing those knees out. Close the eyes. Take a deep breath. And let it go. One more deep breath. And release. And we're going to open up our chest here. So bringing that right arm across that right leg. Inhale that other arm up to the sky. Open your chest. And you can stay right here. Or if you want to find a half bind, bring that lifted arm back behind your back, hooking on your inner right thigh. Or maybe a full bind is in your practice. You're feeling more open in your chest today. Bringing your right arm across that leg, reaching back for your fingertips. We're going to use that to pull your left shoulder blade back, gazing maybe to the sky or down to the left. I like to lift up. It makes it a little bit easier for me. Gazing to the sky. Take two more breaths. Last one. If you're in that bind, slowly coming out, reach that left arm high, and exhale, hands to heart. Very nice, inhale, let it go. Other side, bring that left arm across the left leg. Inhale, that right arm up to the sky, open your chest, spark those fingers, an option to find your half bind, bringing that lifted arm back behind your back, Hooking on your inner left thigh, or maybe a full bind is in your practice and you'd like to bring that left arm across your leg, interlacing fingers. Use that grip to open your chest. 
Remember to breathe here. Two more. Last one. If you're in that bind, slowly coming out. Right arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's take one more deep breath. Let it go. Plant those hands. Lift the hips forward, fold. Half lift. And fold. You can keep your feet nice and wide here for a moment. Let's just hang heavy. You can grab those elbows again like we did at the beginning of class or maybe interlace the hands behind the back if you want more for your chest. Let the head hang. Let's take three more breaths. Find whatever movement your body needs here. or Maybe that's stillness. That's okay too. One more breath. Very nice. Our hands come back down by the sides. We're slowly going to start to roll up. Moving vertebra by vertebra. Head is the last thing to rise. Close the eyes. Push those shoulders down your back. Palms face forward. Find your mountain pose. You're engaging your entire body here. Making yourself nice and active. Root down. Deep breath. Let it go. We have one fun standing balance pose that we're going to go through today. Eagle pose. So we're going to open up our shoulders and our back a little bit more here. So let's start with those arms. Bring those arms out in front of you. We're going to cross that right arm over the left. Bringing the backs of our hands together or maybe the palms of your hands together. So whichever way, both gonna open up our backs here. So press those elbows out and away from your chest. Very nice. Now that we have the arms, root that right foot down. Once you have found your grounding on that side, crossing the left leg over the right. Now the toes, well maybe they stay on the floor today, that's okay. Or maybe you start to bend that right knee and sink our hips back and lift that left leg, kind of like we're crossing our legs here. Final option I will give you today is to wrap that left leg around your right. Remembering to breathe here, press those elbows away with three full breaths. And it's okay if we fall. Last one. Unwind those legs to start. Straighten the legs. Unwind those arms and reach them high. Inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades together for just a moment here. Very nice. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. Very nice. Shake it out. We're going to come to our other side here, so keep those feet rounded. Bring those arms back out in front of you, switching sides. So this time our left arm goes on top of our right. Elbows come together, bend those elbows. Oh, either the backs of the hands go together or wrapping a little further, bringing the palms, whatever is available for you today. Keep those elbows pressed away from your chest. And once you are ready, weight goes in to the left foot. <laughs> Excuse me. Crossing that right foot over the left leg. Or maybe you stay here, or maybe you'd like to take it a little further. You start to tuck that tailbone, bend your left knee, and lift that right foot up off the ground like we're crossing our legs. A final option I'll give you is to wrap a little further. Bring that right foot behind your left leg. Root your left foot down, engage your core. We have three breaths. Open your shoulders. Last one. Very nice. Unwind those legs to start and straighten. We're going to wind those arms. Inhale, reach them high. Exhale, bend your elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades. 
Very nice. Breathe into that heart. Oh, inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Place the hands on the mat. Step back to plank, taking our last vinyasa, but let's slowly lower, of course, for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, shine your heart. Exhale, child's pose. Rock those hips side to side, maybe. If you want to stretch out your triceps here, you could bring those hands together at the top of mat. Bend those elbows and then bring the hands to the nape of your neck. So if you need more, you can inch those elbows closer to the top of your mat. If you have two blocks, two pillows, two of anything, you can also place them underneath your elbows to create a little more space to drop your chest. Let's take three breaths here. One more. Very nice. Bring those arms back long on the mat. We're going to rock forward to our forearms, cross those ankles, and come through to easy seat. Very nice. I'm going to turn to face you. Let's stretch out those shoulders, bringing that left arm across your body. Hooking with your other elbow and pull your arm back. And we want to press that shoulder down. Notice if you're shrugging up to your ear, press it down, relax. Just breathe here for a few moments. One more. Very nice. Go ahead and bring that arm back behind your head. Elbow is bent. And you can reach for your elbow, pulling it down and back, stretching our triceps here. Keep your head lifted. Take one more breath. And switch sides. Our right arm comes across our body using that left arm to hook and pull back, pressing that shoulder down, close your eyes and just breathe here. Very nice. I'll go ahead and bring that arm back behind your head, reaching for your elbow to pull down. Keep your head straight. Two more breaths. Very nice. Let go of those arms. Bring the hands to our knees. Let's just shrug those shoulders back for more. Take some circles. And then switching directions. Very nice. Hands come back to the knees. Just sit in stillness for a moment. Close the eyes. Moving that tailbone down. Spine is nice and long. Take a deep inhale. Stick out the tongue. Let it go. One more time. Deep breath. Let it go. Well, maybe you like to sit in your Shavasana today, maybe up against a wall or on a pillow, or maybe you prefer coming onto your back. Whichever one is best for you, finding your way there to your place of comfort. Checking back in with your body and how you are feeling here in space. How does the breath feel? Take one more deep breath in. Let it go. A 
So feel free to take as long of a Shavasana as you would like for your practice today. I'm going to go ahead and close out here. Our yogis, thank you so much for sharing in your practice, your journey with me. The light me truly honors, respects, supports, and loves the light in each and every one of you. When you are from that place within you, and I'm within that place within me, we are one. Bring our hands to our forehead for clear thoughts. Hands to our mouths for kind words. And hands to our heart for good intentions. Until we meet again, namaste.